Hope everyone's doing good. So welcome to the first lesson of the resurgence premium. So this kind of, this topic, I'm kind of just jumping straight into the deep end, right? But the reason I've chosen this topic, first of all, understanding market structure will make up the bulk of my trading, right? And you guys will come to see why. A second, I see so many questions and so much confusion on this topic. I see people marking it up as wrong things on their charts. So BOS is break structure. Um, many of you will know um, that's change character and market structure shift. And we're gonna go through what they are today. So first thing, right, to understand, right, what is your market structure? We have uptrends and we have downtrends. We also have consolidations, right? But let's just concentrate on our trends for now. In our trends, right, many of you will probably already know this. It's a very basic knowledge. But when you have an uptrend, you have higher highs and higher lows, as I've marked out. And in a downtrend, you have lower lows and lower highs, as I've marked out. And, you know, you can mark these swing points like constantly in the trend on both sides. So being able to recognize and understand where these words go will help a lot in what I'm about to teach. So let's start with breaker structure, right? A lot of people would start with confuse what breaker structure and a reversal actually is. They kind of mark breaker structure as a reversal when it's not. Breaker structure is continuation. So if we're in an uptrend, right? This is a higher low, I haven't marked it down here, but this is a higher low, a higher high, and then a higher low, and then what's next, another higher high, right? But when we break this previous high to create a new high, that is known as a break structure. That's our BOS. So as, a, as you can see with the arrows I've marked out, this is the break structure, and then again, we have another break structure up here. And on this side, on the downtrend side, you can see when we make a new low, that's considered a break structure. So up here, we retraced, then we broke that low to make a new low, this is a break structure. Then again, we retraced, and we broke that previous low to make a new low, which is again, a break structure. But let's see some live examples of this. So I want you guys to concentrate on this bit here, right? So you can see, this is a very clear downtrend. We have a lower low over here, and of course we form a lower high, then we make a new lower low, and then we make a new lower high. So if we were to break, oh sorry, if we were to mark our breaks of structure, you can mark it as this when the previous low gets taken. And you can mark your next break of structure as this. And then again, you can mark another one down here. Right, this is a bearish example and for our bullish examples what we can do if we kind of section it off you see from here we need to concentrate on what's inside this box this is a high that we trade through over here is another small high that we trade through then we have this high, which is also traded through, and so forth. So that's just bullish and bearish, ex bearish examples of break structure. Now back to the presentation. So the thing that comes next, market structure shift and change of character. So people refer to it as change of character. I don't know when or how that term came about, but it's a widely used term now. It essentially means reversal and market structure shift means the same thing. What I want you guys to notice, right, is how I'm using these mark, uh, markings to illustrate what's happening. So these lower lows, lower highs, and so forth, right? So here, for a bullish reversal, so the trend is reversing and turning bullish, what do we have? We've got a downtrend, you know, the lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then what happens? We print a higher high, we retrace and make a higher low. So this shows you that there's been a reversal when we take out the previous high. Why? It's literally in the word, the market structure shift. The structure of the market has shifted. From printing lower highs and lower lows, we've printed a higher high and a higher low. So now we're going to a bullish trend. And the same on this bearish example, right? As you can see, higher lows, higher high, higher low. And then from this higher high, we print a lower low, 
you retrace and make a lower high and then we carry on so that's another example of reversal if you guys can truly grasp and understand what you know these these words these extra markings even though they're very basic on what they mean it instantly becomes a lot easier to identify it on the charts but let's find some live examples okay so over here first let's go for a bearish example right we're in an uptrend right we take out this high we take out this high we also come back and say we took out this high like that and i'm not going to add the markings but you guys can see you know we have a low here we have a low here we have a low here once we take out this low this low over here what happens we create a lower low so now if we come back and we do add the markings right this was high low because of course this is the uptrend right and up here is a higher high down here is a lower low so let's add that so how how can i make this easier for you guys to understand right this is what you want to see in a bearish market strategy Create a swing high, so a higher high, so a higher low, a new higher high, and then we make a low low. This is your market structure shift. This is your bearish market structure shift. So as you can see, right, this is the higher high, this arrow here. We make a higher low, we trade even higher, making a new higher high, and then we come break low while we break that last low and we create a lower low you see as we and now then we offer a lower high in the market we create a lower high here and we trade lower so there's been a clear reversal and as you can, as you guys can see there is a reversal right this market structure shift happened and what happened price started heading down so now let's come down here and we can see a bullish example so with our bullish example i already had the markings i just showed you guys this specific example before I'll give you guys a few seconds. Can anyone spot where the market structure shift happens? Again, it's a pretty obvious one. If I just draw my arrow here, right? Let's just sweep these arrows for now. These are these are for breaks the structure, but this is the market structure shift. Why is this the market structure shift? Have a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Have another lower low, and then after this lower low, what do we do? a high high so now again we've had a market structure shift and this is a bullish example instead of concentrating on what this pattern looks like and exactly that thing i showed in the powerpoint i want you guys to be able to identify your lower lows your lower highs and so forth and see them and see what price is doing to create these market structure shifts so yeah that's been a pretty short and basic lesson i hope everybody can grasp those concepts they're going to be very key in the upcoming lessons and if you do have any questions, if you want to find examples and send them to me or Morgan, anyone, we'll be happy to help you guys um, to identify them and, you know, help you further understand anything. So just message us. But yeah, that's it from me.